In this module, I want to talk about tabs. When you should use tabs, what are tabs and where do you get them from? So first of all, I'm going to press my tab key on the keyboard. And when I do that, it jumps across the screen 1.27 centimeters every time I press that. Now, I can't actually see a tab. I'm just seeing my cursor go across the screen. If I want to see tab markers, I need to click on show hide and then it will show this little arrow, which is indicating that there is a tab there. Now, I'm not a fan of tabs, but people do use them. The problem with tabs is that people don't know that you can actually see them and they press in delete or press in enter and then they're bringing the tabs down if they've been set or they don't know why text is jumping around the screen. So if I just put show hide on again, and get rid of all these tabs so I can see them. And let's have a look at where you get tabs manually from. So that is a default. Now the ruler itself is a great tool. It shows you indent markers, left indent, right indent. It also will show you where tabs are if you click them on. But you might not have the ruler on as default, which is a strange thing, I think. If you go to view, you can tick the ruler on. You only need to do it once and it will stay on all the time. Now, once you've got the ruler on, you can basically point your cursor to a part of the ruler and click, and it will put a left tab, a left tab. So now when I press the tab key, it will jump to that. So that tab is overriding the default tabs that I just showed you a second ago. If I put show hide on again, you can see there's just one there. Now, if I jump to let's put one at seven and if I tab again it's going to jump to seven I've gone all the way across to seven centimeters but there's only two tab markers because I'm putting them on and it's overwriting the default now if I press enter and come down a line those tab markers are still sitting on the ruler so they would override the default again but you can pull these off just point to them and pull them into the page and you'll see them disappear like that so now if I press tab, it's back to the default tab markers and you can see it there. When I press enter, it doesn't bring anything down. It's just the default settings like so. Now I'm gonna get rid of all of that and start again. Let's take that show hide off. Now you can also put tabs on through this paragraph block by clicking on this little down arrow, which will go into paragraph settings. Down the very bottom left, you've got tabs. If I click on that, you can see the tab box that comes up and you can type in there. So if I go three set, it's, do, it's going to do a, a tab marker at three centimeters, which is going to be left aligned. And then if I type another, let's type six set and then nine set. So basically you have to do set each time. I'll just click OK to that. And so you can see them on the ruler. There they are on the ruler. Three sets of tabs. I press the tab key. One, two three put show hide on so you can see them and again if i come down they will be brought down as well to so the next line overwriting or overriding should i say the default now if i go back in there you've also got in there the option to put leader dots on so if i want a tab over at say 14 centimeters let's put 14 on it's still going to be a left tab but i want leader dots on so i'm clicking on two set clicking OK to that pressing tab and you get that which is quite cool quite a lot of people want to know that you shouldn't be pressing full stop full stop full stop to get that I'll just undo that so that was the left tab now there are other tab types in there if I go back in there into tabs you've got center right decimal and bar all these different tabs so have a look at center, right, and decimal, and you'll see how that works. So let me clear this one off. So clear all, back to default, nothing set. You don't touch that. This is the default jump, unless you want to. Um, this is in metric centimeters. That would be half an inch in US imperial, so or imperial. So don't change that. That's the default. You change it by typing in there and going set. If I click OK to this, let's have a look at some other places that you can get tabs. 
in the left hand corner of the ruler you've got a left tab marker if you point your mouse to it it does say left tab eventually there so that's the one i did before but i'm going to put that on at five centimeters and press the tab key to it and type my name so you can see what a left tab does it brings the text from the left tab into the document so from the left side into the document that way now if i press return on that and pull that tab marker off off the five centimeter mark so there's no tab on this one if i click this again it will flick over to the center tab which i will then put back on at five centimeters press tab type my name again now you can see what's happening there it's coming either side of that tab marker the text is growing so if i typed a sentence it would grow either side of that tab marker that's the center tab pull that down again let's pull that one off get rid of that next one if i click it again it's going to be a right tab and i'm going to put that on at five centimeters also pressing tab to that type in my name again you can see what happens here it picks up the text and it goes to the left so it's coming from the right side now where there's one of those already default if i double click into the rule into the header should i say what you've got there is a center tab and what you would do there is put a right tab it's already on right tab there and then me if i tab to that it'll go center then right and if i type my name it will come in from the margin on the right there like a date you might want a date with a right tab maybe that's what you want to do but that's just an example of those three i'll get rid of those the other one if i click it again is a decimal tab so if i put the decimal tab i'll put that over on the right somewhere I'll put it at 12 press tab this is about lining up decimal points so there's me lining that up on the decimal I click on that you can see it lines up there so if i press enter there and tab again and type some more figures you can see each time i do that pressing tab as, so, as long as there's a decimal it's lining that up on the decimal pressing tab like so so you'll never get that lined up by just tabbing across with your space bar or tabbing with a normal tab that's what you need you need to put a decimal tab on at the top there and when you're finished you should pull it off i'll take this show hide off now i think we've proved that little point so they're the main tabs the other one was the bar if i click on it again it just comes up with the indent um, let's click on that one not the indent the bar press tab to that so that's just the indent marker there let's click it again left right the bar so i'll put that on the top six tab to it and i'll put it on at seven tab to it and put it on there so basically what that's all about is if you wanted to do that i've lined vertical lines down a page you might want to use that bar with the different tabs people used to do that in the old days before you had um, modern computers so i don't think that's a common feature anymore now i need to get rid of all of this so let's get rid of all of that and probably quicker to go into tabs and clear tabs clear all tabs back to a default document now quite often people talk about getting an address block over on the right here and they would just tab over like i've sort of, like i've told you not to do and type your say address mr mr s saxton like that now because i've tabbed too far that's now wrapping around again so i'd have to come back a bit so that fits press enter then i'd have to do all those tabs again to get myself back over under that word and then one two three bell down lane press enter and i'd have to tab all the way back across again that is not the way to do it although it would work it is not the way to do it you don't want to have these tabs everywhere in your document because it will cause you grief in the long term if i start typing something extra there 
you see what happens this is now shot over there if i type something there eventually that will shoot over there as well so your document gets totally messed up not the way to do it if you need to get anything over on the right like that let me just get rid of this because it's slightly irritating me to look at it to show hide off again what you need what you need to do is do an indent so this is the indent marker you can either go into format paragraph and do this but if i put my indent marker at say 12 i can type mr s saxton press enter it doesn't shoot back across to the left i can just carry on typing as long as i've given myself enough space like so and then it stays there it just wraps round until i'm ready to go back over to the other side brad ford press and enter to come down an extra line then control q would get rid of that indent just reset it it's just knocked it back over there and then i could do the rest of it dear sir etc etc so that's the way you should use indents to get text over onto the right so it wraps around not using tabs but that's all I want to talk about in this little video, all about tabs, when to use them, when not to use them, uh, the issues that you might have when you do use them and you shouldn't have done. So hopefully that information is of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.